guys, this is Johnny from Subsim. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on the JSGME, what, uh, which is the generic mod enabler. Okay, so first things first, where can you get hold of this handy little program? If you type in JSGME into Google search, sorry about my Facebook, you will find it, it's the first link. And you'll see, as soon as you open that link, this little uh, hyperlink here saying download the latest generic mod enabler now click that and it will save I'm gonna run halfway through the tutorial of the install just so you guys know what to click it's relatively simple it's like all the installs it's minimize Firefox sorry about my speeds it's peak time so it means it's uh, very slow at the moment so run next tick the I accept next Next, choose the location that you want to install, click browse, go to where is it? Program files and then your Silent Hunter 3 install, which mine's in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Silent Hunter 3, OK, click next, create desktop icon, click next and it should install. I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed. Right, next thing is you need your mod. So I go to Subsim. Sorry, I'm having a cigarette. Click Subsim. Uh, go to Subsim, which is www.subsim.com uh, forward slash radio room forward slash index.php. All links will be in the bottom of the YouTube description. Click to downloads. Click the Silent Hunter 3 set. And uh, you've got your gameplay mods, graphic mods, mission and maps, blah blah blah, all the way down. And you've even got some ones that are uncategory underneath. Uh, my favourite mod at the moment for little mods is the lifeboat, lifeboat, uh, lifeboats and debris, if I could speak properly. Uh, basically, it just adds. Um, little men in boats after you sink a ship screaming for help and a lot more realistic debris etc uh, click the download button and it will automatically download save it to your favorite download location wherever that may be also just one quick side note if you get type in google gwx mod which is the grey walls expansion mod it and uh, sub sim links go to their site which is thegreywalls.com it is also included in the GWX3 Gold download. And a quick side note from the actual tutorial itself. If you click on the right hand side download button and download a uh, uTorrent, which can be found, I think it's on uh, Hippo. I can't, can't remember. It's got its own site, uTorrent.com. This is one of the best torrent downloaders I find. And uh, click Get uTorrent, get the latest one installed and download it as a torrent um, you can get the whole download in one big install file instead of doing it through I think it's seven binaries and one dot exe so it saves you a lot of time um, download the GWX and it's actually included in the install um, for the GWX mods so let's go to downloads and here's the file I always extract it to the life um, to a, its own folder um, if you've got Rimra, it'll automatically make a folder if you click extract to name backward slash. Sorry, that's my baby crying. Click extract to lifeboats and it'll extract it to a folder. As you can see, the person already had a folder. Rule of thumb always check the folder before installing because a lot of people put capital D. Let's change that to a lowercase d because that's how they install. You've also got an optional folder in some of the mods. This one includes it. I don't install them. Delete the readme once you've read it. Now go back one step, control X or right click cut and then go to your Silent Hunter 3 install where you installed your JS uh, GME program. It should have created a folder called mods. If not, create it yourself and open up the JSGME.ini and f mods folder name equals and then type it in exactly how it's written with no space and that will configure it to, to know that all mods are in here 
right click copy and paste obviously that will just go straight in you shouldn't have this because I already have it installed overwrite all the conflicts blah 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 right next thing to do is open up your JS GME desktop icon and as you can see you have two lists available mods activated mods now the difference is the activated mods are obviously ones that are installed and are in use during your gameplay your available mods are the ones that you can install so you find the mod that you've just installed which is this one here and you click the top button which is an arrow pointing to the right and if you hover it, it says enable, enable se selected mod click that you'll have a little bar appear down here if it's a li little mod it will flash by if it's a big mod it will go really slow and as you can see it's moved it to activated and taken out the available mods to deactivate a mod simply click the arrow pointing to the left disable selected mod I'm going to re-enable that because I use it and that's basically how you move mods in and out of your of your Silent Hunter 3 uh, game. Now, if you ever get conflicts, so for instance, you want to install a mod that you really like, and this box pops up when you go to activate it. So, file has been altered, but has already been altered by mod. So, basically, what this means is this mod has already altered this file that the new mod wants to. Uh, uh, overwrite with a new file. So what you want to do here is you click no. Always you're going to get file uh, problems and the game may crash the desktop or those two mods just won't work at all. Um, if however you accidentally click yes and you can't remember which mod you just activated or you have problems with your crash into desktop and you go on the forums of subsim or any Silent Hunter forums and they say deactivate all your mods. The best way to do this is to click the double arrows pointing to the left which is disable all mods. This will uninstall all the activated mods and put them as available. Then install the mods one by one until you get that message pop up. Click no and that should fix any problem you have. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. The only other thing is you've got tasks, which are import mod. If you want to import a mod from a different directory, I think I've never used it personally, but I think what it does is, say if uh, the mod you want to use is in your download section, I think it automatically moves it to the correct de destination it should be in. Or tasks generate snapshot of game files. So say if you're missing a few files and you want to know what it does, you click generate. And that's going to take ages now. I wish I never clicked that. Oh, no, there it goes. There we are. And what that does is it, it just uh, takes a quick screenshot of where all your files are. Um, so if you make mistakes later, you know exactly what you had installed, etc. Also, if you want to cheer your activated mod list, you click that, click OK, and it'll give you a list of that. So you can post them in the forums for other people to use, etc. So, and that's called Xbox. X, Xbox? export activated mod list and also after you generate a game shot you can compare your games your snapshot of your game files to make sure you've got the mods that you had in before installed a report of the file blah 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 ok to view none of the mods have changed obviously um, so that's generic mod enabler all done and dusted very nice and easy to use um, like I said before this has been Johnny for subsim.com also Wolfpack Commanders which is a Steam group which I've recently started up um, we only have one other member bar for me at the moment which is Red October who's just joined and will be coming into the Steam group later on uh, the idea behind the group is as the description says welcome welcome to Wolfpack Commanders the group formed for Silent Hunter 3 and 5 players of all levels and ages even though I spelled, I spelled ages wrong I need to correct that um, everybody's welcome to join it's basically to keep the game alive after you be close down the multiplayer and uh, most of the games will be run through Tungle so you guys need to get that installed. There is a post somewhere in the forums about Tungle. Um, once you've got that installed feel free to PM me on the uh, on Subsim about joining the group and I'll send you invites on Steams etc and share my Steam name and there's also a group on Subsim that you can join once I've approved um, that's basically it guys uh, feel free to join as I said we, we will be having some multiplayer matches when the member base gets a bit bigger and also 
we've got our own YouTube channel as you guys probably know because you're watching this video on YouTube and we'll be sharing a lot more tutorial vids not only by me but maybe by a few other members if they feel like doing it so I hope to see you around guys and I hope this tutorial helped you learn about the JSGME program the generic mod enabler